chances are if you're coming to Paris with friends and family, one of you will have some diet restrictions, whether it's a vegetarian or vegan or gluten-free. So in this video, we're gonna take you to 10 different places where you can get vegetarian or vegan or gluten-free and maybe all three together. So Colleen, are you hungry? I'm hungry. Allez, on y va. Let's go. So we're here at Copain, which is everything in the store, gluten-free bakery. And they have amazing things, including some lactose-free things and of course, not vegan, but vegetarian, but they have gorgeous, gorgeous breads and pastry items. And today, I got a sweet treat that I know everybody wants in France, which is an eclair. Check that out. That's a gluten-free eclair, and I can't wait to take a bite. Mm. That is rich and thick and yummy. I feel like I'm biting into chocolate heaven in here. That's, mm. oh my God, delicious. You gotta try it. You gotta try this thing here. I was not expecting that eclair to be that good. I mean, I figured it'd be good, but oh my God, that's delicious. So this place, it feels a little more elegant than a lot of bakeries because the baked goods here look like, I don't know, like they're on a museum or something. They're just so beautiful glistening and shiny even the bees love it they do sell coffee but it's not set up for you to have breakfast there there's just a couple of small tables out front so it's a perfect place to grab something to go something to take and eat in a park and have a lovely day but this is definitely one you want to know about and you've heard of the chausson pum we covered that in one of the bakeries but they have the chausson pum but they have this one which is a limited edition and it's a raspberry chausson so i can't wait to take a bite out of that because that looks delightful Oh, wow. Yeah, again, surprised me. I thought the the bite of the raspberry would be stronger. It's actually very mild. It's not too sweet. The crust is amazing for a gluten-free pastry. It's really good, but well, you should try it. Go ahead. Mm. Hey, give it back to me. <laughs> this is a great place, highly recommend it. We're here at Exki, and this is a chain of natural, healthy restaurants, and you can find them all around Paris, even inside Charles de Gaulle if you're on your way out of town and you need a bite to eat for the flight. Here they have something for everyone. So they do have, you know, meat options, salads with chicken and ham and different things, sandwiches with all of that. They also have a great variety of soups, quiches, like tart type things where you can get a vegetarian meal. And it's just a yummy spot. You, know, you can feel the commitment to the environment. It's just all environmentally minded, health minded, healthy, good homemade stuff that's just delicious. If you want a smoothie, with just a quick energy boost or a full meal, it's a great place to come. And you can get vegetarian, vegan, and gluten-free options right here. And Exki is a real casual spot, eat in, take out, more of a fast food type environment. And they're all over Paris, including inside Charles de Gaulle. And this one is right next to the Central Pompidou at the edge of La Marais. And the prices run between, say, 5 and 15 euros. I got this little salad as a quick protein pick-me-up, and that was 480, including the crackers. Or a slice of bread. We're here at Charlie Crew, which is in between Leal and the Opera, right at Rue Montegoy. And here they have vegetarian, vegan. This is for paleo, keto diets and everything. They even have vegan ice cream, so you can get anything you want here. Today I'm having the Buddha Bowl, which should be delightful. It's also a great place to get a cup of coffee, something sweet, even pumpkin spice or gingerbread latte. So it's just, it's a fun, funky, trendy, awesome place to get exactly what you want if you are a vegan vegetarian. And there's plenty of seating inside and outside. So depending on what part of the year it is, you'll find exactly what you want here. Yeah. 
We're here at Yummy and Guilt Free, which is right by the Hotel de Ville, across the street from the BHV department store. And these guys do waffles, sweet waffles and savory waffles. Because in France, waffles are not a breakfast item, they're for dessert. And here they do with Nutella, with, with all kinds of creams and yummy things, but they also have savory waffles. They have them with mozzarella and basil, with zucchinis and all kinds of vegetables. They do have meat options with smoked salmon or chicken and different kinds of flavors, but all of their waffles are made with rice flour so that every waffle in here is gluten-free. The whole place is gluten-free and amazingly delicious. Monday to Friday, they have a formula lunch, which is a savory waffle and a sweet cake or a sweet waffle and a beverage for either $11.50 or $14.50. The savory waffles are about $8.50 or nine euros a pop and the sweet waffles are $4.50 to $5.50. Um, it's just a great option and delicious. This is just a little hole in the wall with maybe 10 seats, a little bench, a little upstairs part, and it's just delightful. So today for breakfast, we are at Cloud Cake, which is a tiny little coffee shop that serves all kinds of breakfast uh, goodies. Everything is vegan and they also serve lunch. So they have a couple of things on the menu. So if you're looking for a place for breakfast or lunch that is vegan, this is a great stop. We're right off of Rue de Montorgueil, so we're within five minutes walking distance to uh, Châtelet Les Halles. Uh, and it's a little quaint street. There's not a lot of things, like unless you know this is here, you're just gonna walk right past it. Obviously everything is vegan here, so that's down. There's no mistake in like what is vegan and what is not. Everything is vegan in Cloud Cakes. And they have an amazing variety of coffee and lattes and they even have the pumpkin spice drinks which are very seasonal now it's getting a little cold in Paris so that's a great spot to get that now today Colleen got a chai latte I got an espresso I tried a vegan croissant for the first time in my life and it was absolutely delicious and Colleen got a vegan cookie which was really delightful it's a great spot like if you're looking for a place for vegan breakfast and lunch right here Clot cake Today we start in a small restaurant called Mopa, and this is all vegan. Everything they do here is vegan. It's on a little side street, um, but what's actually really interesting here is that the facade of this restaurant is protected historically. Like it's a, it's actually Restaurant du Petit Trou. I don't even know what that means, but they've actually changed ownership, but they cannot touch the facade. So it still has the old name of what it used to be here, uh, but it's called Mopa. And today, Colleen is having the Berliner kebab and I'm having the bacon something. So I can't wait. And it says all this stuff is actually made in house and it's all vegan. So I can't wait to try it because I've never tried that. And it sounds interesting. And the formula lunch that they serve here is 12 euros and 90 cents. Well, basically just shy of 13 euros. So it's inexpensive, it's vegan, it's a great address. If you're looking for vegan in Paris, come right here to Moba. And what is really fun in this restaurant is all the tables or chairs are actually uh, from old school. Like this is what I used to go to school when I was a kid. Those were the chairs and the tables. So I'm like, I feel like I'm back in school. I wonder what I'm going to get in trouble with today. We're here at Le Bol de Antoine, and this place is vegetarian, vegan, gluten-free, and organic. Everything here is, and it is an extraordinary little place. They have seats inside, but seats outside, so you can enjoy this gorgeous ambiance. And the food here is delicious. They have all of the different coffees and teas and things that you might want to try. They have amazing avocado toast. They have gluten-free, vegan pancakes with bananas and chia sauce and all kinds of stuff with nuts and everything. Most of their things are pretty heavy in protein. I'm sure you can get it without, but so that you still feel pretty full once you're done. They're open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner Thursday through Saturday. And well, just across from us is a phenomenal view because we're here in Belleville and 
Range. This is another hill, kind of like Momard, but on the other side. So it's a gorgeous place to come, have a great meal, definitely something you want to know about. And the avocado toast here is probably the best I've ever had anywhere. Heavy on the garlic, but so flavorful, so delightful. Definitely recommend this place. So today we stopped in a boulangerie that is a vegan boulangerie called Lend and Monkey. And this one happens to be in Le Marais, right around Saint Paul, uh, Place des Vosges is right around the corner, and our favorite seafood restaurant is right across the street. But here you're going to get um, like the stuff that you get in boulangerie, like sandwiches, they have a few salads, and a dessert. And obviously, like all the boulangerie, they offer a formula. So we took the formula, which was a sandwich, a dessert, and a beverage. And it's 10 euros for that formula, so it's very affordable. And everything they have in, in here is vegan. So I could taste it, you know, I mean, it's like in, in the food, you know, what's missing for me is butter. <laughs> but it's, it's actually very delicious. I've, I've enjoyed so far all the vegan and vegetarian stuff we've tried, but it's actually really good. Here they have sandwich, quiche, uh, or soup, uh, and they also have a little couscous uh, salad that you can eat. And of course, everything is vegan. Really good. It's a great spot. You have a metro station right around the corner. It's very easy, accessible, and you're within walking distance to a lot of places in the mile. I'm not a big fan of this club sandwich, but if I came back, I think I would get the couscous. But that cookie right here, that has enough protein and nuts and stuff in it to be a whole meal. So if you're a light eater, if you just want a, a quick pick-me-up, that pistachio cookie, I think it has hummus inside. It's rich, it's thick, and it is the bomb. This is Hank's Burger in the heart of Le Marais, near the Picasso Museum. I visited this restaurant with my niece, Marian, when Colleen was out of town. They serve all kinds of vegan and vegetarian burgers that are absolutely delicious. Now, it's very small, but they have sitting upstairs if you want to eat in and take a break. It's a, this is a vegetarian burger. It is very good. There's a lot of um, flavors. Delicious. And honestly, you couldn't tell it's not burger, but it's really flavorful. And it comes with potatoes. It is a thick cut. Next, we went to East Side Burgers near Place de la République. This is also 100% vegan and vegetarian burger joint that serves amazing burgers with French fries. Honestly, you can hardly tell the difference with a meat burger. I got the East Side Burger and Marion got the Grizzly Burger. It was really delicious. We've put together a Paris travel guide that includes some of the best restaurants, bakeries, tours, and even transportation. So if you're looking for something like that, we put a link in the description. Just check it out. Let's see if it's a good fit. Now I would suggest you watch this video, and until next time, au revoir.